four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like summer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, like I say, this is going to be basically just kind of about this new report, but we'll, we'll talk uh, about, you know, hurricanes in general. Okay. We are rolling, and, um, yeah, we're rolling. Okay. So, Rick, first, uh, just so I have it on tape, can you um, uh, say your name, spell your last name, and tell me what your title is? I'm Richard Anthes, A-N-T-H-E-S, and I'm president of UCAR, the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research. Um, this uh, report that was re um, released today about um, uh, global warming impact on the uh, on hurricanes in the North Atlantic, um, can you just, just can you explain a little bit about that? Well, yes, the uh, uh, 2005 hurricane season was one of the uh, most active by almost any measure, number of hurricanes, number of tropical cyclones, number of Category 5 hurricanes, and the most intense hurricane on record in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. It was also the year of the highest uh, sea surface temperature temperatures in the uh, Gulf of Mexico and the tropical uh, the North Atlantic. It's been known for uh, many years, well over 50, that uh, warm surface temperatures are a fundamental factor in causing uh, tropical cyclones and hurricanes. And so there is a uh, unquestioned uh, correlation between uh, warm ocean waters and uh, hurricane intensity and the number of hurricanes. And where, why, do you, why is the uh, warm waters last year, what, what could have contributed to that? Well, that's the question that the uh, Trin, Berth, and Shea uh, paper uh, answered. And uh, past uh, few years, certain uh, individuals have been saying that this, these warm temperatures are a result of natural oscillations in the uh, tropical Atlantic uh, water temperatures, oscillations that have uh, time scales or periods of decades or longer. Uh, what the Trendbirth paper showed is that uh, this was actually a minor effect, these, these oscillations, that over half or about half of this warming, this anomalous record warmth in the uh, tropical ocean waters was uh, due to the global scale, global warming, uh, due to human activities. Well, the, uh, since the Industrial Revolution, and uh, most recently uh, with acceleration of uh, emissions of radiatively active gases, the uh, global mean uh, atmospheric temperature is going up, and a lot of this heat goes into the ocean. And so the oceans are also uh, warming uh, globally. In fact, the tropical oceans have warmed something like a, a full degree Celsius or a, se a couple of degrees Fahrenheit over the last uh, 30 years. Well, the atmosphere gets warmer, and uh, some of that heat is transferred into the oceans uh, because the oceans and the atmosphere are a coupled system. And if uh, one gets warmer, the other will get warmer. Uh, also, the atmosphere is radiating more heat back to the surface of the Earth and to the ocean surfaces, and some of that heat is uh, absorbed and trapped by the oceans, and so there's a direct, a direct radiation effect on the oceans as well. Well, that's a very good question, and I, I have to say that the uh, answer is not fully known yet. Uh, previous uh, modeling studies have indicated that the warming would increase the intensity, but not uh, the number. But a recent paper by a, a different paper, actually, that came out this week in the Journal of the American Geophysical Union actually showed a, a correlation between number of uh, hurricanes, tropical cyclones in the North Atlantic and the sea surface temperature. So there is some uh, theoretical reason and some, uh, at least some evidence in the data, in the North Atlantic anyway, that suggests that uh, increasing ocean temperatures will both increase the intensity and the number of hurricanes.
Well, this, this uh, paper uh, by uh, Twinberth and Shea uh, suggests uh, or indicate that the global warming was responsible for about half of the uh, record sea uh, temperature uh, anomalies, uh, warmth, during the hurricane season of 2005. So what it says is that global warming is playing a significant role, but not the entire role. Well, we would have half as uh, half the uh, temperature, maximum temperature anomaly, so it would be uh, a much uh, a milder uh, season uh, from the uh, effect of sea surface temperatures alone. There is another factor that I should mention that the uh, this other paper I mentioned by uh, Michael Mann and Carrie Emanuel uh, indicate that uh, aerosols or dust in the atmosphere have produced about a half a degree cooling in the tropical North Atlantic. Uh, and so that effect, if that effect had not been there, the uh, warming would have been even more pronounced. And so uh, the uh, human-induced uh, aerosol or dust effects are actually uh, counteracting to uh, a significant degree the uh, amount of global warming due to the uh, greenhouse gases and the radiation. Well, there are other issues, that's right. We're just uh, considering one at a time. So the, uh, the dust and aerosols have effect on clouds and precipitation and, of course, human health and visibility and all other, and, and other kinds of things. Um, so then overall, uh, on this, uh, this, this, this latest study then, I mean, what does it say about, you know, uh, about our hurricane situation and, and, and what we, you know, may, may expect over the, last, over the next several years if nothing changes? Well, one of the most uh, sure things about global warming is that the sea surface temperature is going to keep rising for many years, regardless of what we do about global warming, because there's a, a large inertia or flywheel effect built in. So uh, uh, with some variations from year to year, the, uh, the baseline is going, the baseline temperatures are going to be rising uh, slowly. And so uh, de every decade, the oceans are going to be warmer than they were the previous decade. And uh, this is, you know, to the extent that uh, warm water is important in hurricanes, and virtually all scientists believe that is the case, uh, we are going to uh, see a, uh, an upward trend in hurricane intensity and possibly uh, even numbers.